We started off the day really tired. Um, the room service was, was, was delivered promptly and it was great. Um, I woke up with Adam up around 7.30 and then we went down to the auditorium after he had eaten a little bit around 8 and then sat there for about half an hour. Um, then around 8.30 they started it, um, dismissing us by group just to go to shore. And we got the shallow dolphin swim adventure in Atlantis. We get off the boat, you go down to the deck zero and you just park. Um, and then there's somebody there to kind of directs you over to where to stand. And then you walk down a fairly long pier. I think Coleman said it's about the length of two ships um, to get on a shuttle, which then takes you to Atlantis Resort. And it was a really lovely ride there. You got to see a lot of the colonial buildings um, and just kind of get a taste of what um, the island kind of culture and life is like on your way to Atlantis. Um, we, once you get to Atlantis, they give you directions. It's a fairly short walk. They drop you off pretty much right where the dolphin um, cove is, area where you're going to interact with the dolphins. So we went and we sat um, on the beach and watched um, the previous group do their dolphin training. And that was actually really nice. We really enjoyed that. We got to see, kind of get a taste of what the dolphins were going to do beforehand. And so at 10.20 we went and got our wetsuits on, they had a quick orientation um, about where to touch the dolphins and how to touch them, and then we got in the water with them. The counter itself was, was really amazing, um, just being able to touch the dolphins, you know, feel them swim up against you and have them play with you splat. I got the impression that the dolphins um, seem to be well taken care of and loved at, at, at the Atlantis Resort. The our dolphin the meal um, uh, was a Hurricane Katrina rescue. I guess the, some of the dolphins got swept up to sea during Hurricane Katrina, and they were rescued and relocated to the Atlantis Resort. Um, and he was a real sweet sweetie. A lot of the, the actual time with the dolphins is about half an hour that you're in the water with them. I would say about 15 minutes of that was spent doing pictures, which is a little disappointing. When we went in to do the photo packages, you could see why they spent so much time um, focused on getting pictures taken in the water during the dolphin experience. Um, the prices were, were, were just astro astronomical. I mean, um, you pay $200 per person for the package, at least we did, which includes access to Atlantis Resort as well as the shallow water dolphin discovery. But it's not much cheaper if you don't if you do it without the Atlantis Resort part. Um, and when you go in, like the the cheapest kind of photo package they have is like. $95 for six pictures, or you can buy one picture for $35. And then if you want all the pictures, which I think there ended up being about 15 pictures of, um, we had of Adam and I, that those 15 pictures would have cost us over $200 to get their photo package. Um, we ended up buying two 8x10s and spent $65. So after the dolphin discovery, we went to the water park, um, and I have to say it was a bit disappointing. We did enjoy. We went in the lazy river. And that was a lot of fun. They have these waves that just come one after another that kind of push you around this river, and the river is really long. Like it goes around the whole water park. So um, I would say I don't know. It took us like a good 20, 30 minutes on the river. It was a lot of fun. The river. Um, but then we started to try to go on some of the slides. Um, we did one, which was a, a, a long plunge, and you go underneath the water, um, which is like a big aquarium that you go through, and there's sharks and stuff in it, which was kind of cool, but 
you go so fast you don't really see anything under the water. The lines were really long for all the rides and by this time Adam was getting very tired. Um, and we actually only spent like a couple hours at the water park and then head back to the boat around 2.30. Um, we got, by the time we were, it took us a little while to find where the shuttle was supposed to pick us up, which was actually nice. We got to walk through the, um, kind of the shopping area of the resort. And uh, then we headed off to um, the, where the shuttle pick us up. Um, and we went home. He also complained. He said he felt like people at Atlantis were mean. Um, and I think maybe it's a cultural thing, but um, there's definitely a lot of barking of orders like, go over there, get over there, go this way, no, go there, go over there now, it's your turn now. You know, just like shouting. Like, not because people were necessarily doing things wrong, it was just the like, employees didn't, it didn't seem like a lot of the employees at the park were particularly happy to be there. I didn't know. It was, it, it wasn't the friendly bohemian kind of experience, I guess, I was expecting. Um, got back on the ship um, and went to our room. We got some food. We went to Mongolian Walk, which also involved another kind of long line. Um, but the food was really good. We really, uh, and it was worth it, even though we had to wait like half an hour. Just the, the Szechuan sauce. 